What's up nerds? This is Nerdtron64 here and I'm coming today with a pickup video and this whole year has been pretty good with uh, picking up some games. Got a lot of filler type games, nothing too crazy. Um, but let's go over what we picked up from this last week here. So there's two different days that I went out, Friday and Saturday. Um, so these first ones are from Friday sales and the first place that I went to it was an estate sale and um, walked up and there was a stack of PlayStation 4 games and stuff ah we'll go over them I asked how much for the games and she said 50 cents and so when she said 50 cents I grabbed every single one of them and uh, got a couple other things too so um, first off, I got two movies. We got The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2 um, on Blu-ray. So my kids are into Spider-Man and stuff recently, so I thought I would pick those guys up for 50 cents. Not bad. Then we got the stack of games. Mainly PlayStation 4, actually. Um, there's one Wii U. So we got Star Wars The Force Awakens Lego. And then some of these are sports games and stuff, but um, again, for 50 cents, couldn't pass them up. We got Madden 15, Madden 17, Titanfall 2, and The Show 19, Show 20, The Show 18. Um, then this one didn't have the cover, but it is, um, Injustice, Gods Among Us. That one's cool to have. Uh, we got RBI Baseball 2017. Little Big Planet 3. Hello Neighbor, which is one I've been wanting to play, so that's cool to get on a, uh, system that I can... Sit down and actually try to play that. Then we got Lego Worlds for the PlayStation 4. Um, there's also this little pack of games that kind of just threw in. Madden 13 loose. Madden 12. Um, MLB The Show 15. And then... Um, a nice one to have Minecraft for PS3. So all of those were 50 cents a piece. And then at the same sale, pick these guys up. The instruction manuals for the um, NES Lego set. And those were 50 cents a piece also. So, not bad. For the first sale there. An estate sale, like I said, I almost just passed by it because uh, I usually don't like stopping at estate sales. I feel like most of the stuff there, around here at least, um, older stuff, clothes, things like that. So, glad I stopped by. Ugh. So, this next sale, the only other sale really on Friday that I got anything, um, I feel like there's a couple loose random stuff that I got, but, um, I don't know what they are, if there was, but I went to this one sale, and this was sitting in a box, GameCube, uh, Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure, and it didn't have the game in there, so I asked if there was any other games, and she said, no, that's the only one, um, I don't know anything about that, blah, 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 they're my sons, so, Held on to it, walked around the sale, and was looking at some of the other things. And um, then at the end, I asked how much for it. And I said, it's just the case, though, the game's not in there. And she said, oh, man, like, let, me, let me go ask my son if he knows where the game's at. And so as she's walking in, I said, okay, and if he has anything else, any other kind of games or whatever, um, let him know that I'm interested. She goes inside, and then she comes back, and she says, you can go inside and talk to him. Um, he might have some other stuff. 
So I go inside and he brought out this big box full of games. And um, had a lot of Star Wars stuff in there too, some different cards and things like that. Um, but came out with a stack or this box of games. And so I'll go over these first ones uh, here first. And there were Xbox and Xbox 360. So for this whole stack, he wanted 15 for. Um, so the price kind of kind of comes into play in a little bit. We'll talk about that. But Red Dead Redemption, and that's just the disc in one of these uh, GameStop boxes. And then Halo 3, also just in the old game GameStop box. Um, but then we got Forza Motor Motorsport 3 for the 360. Hunter the Reckoning. I think most of these are complete. We got the uh, manual in there and pretty good shape the discs. Command and Conquer, Kane's Wrath. Left for Dead 2. Ruse the Art of Deception. Madden 07. Sorry, I keep looking at the screen instead of like the camera, so I'm trying to make a point to look at the camera there. Uh, Splinter Cell. Call of Duty Finest Hour. Original Xbox. Um, Major League Baseball 2K. Eight. Doom three. Tie two. I Ninja. Star Wars, uh, Clone Wars, and Tetris Worlds combo disc. And then Terminator: Rise of the Machines. And so he said fifteen for the old games. And then he had a little stack of newer stuff, and he had some PS4 and Xbox One and um, some nicer stuff in this other set. And he was asking um, 50 for that stack, and most of it wasn't like that much better to me than some of these or whatever, but there's a few in there, so I grabbed a few out, and I asked if he would just take 25 for everything. So I got these three added in there. As well, we got Resident Evil 2, Deluxe Edition for the Xbox One, Doom Eternal. Again, these aren't like too crazy expensive games or anything right now, but um, I kind of wanted to have them. And then we got this Skyrim for the 360 that has the uh, nice map and stuff in there. Kind of, it feels like canvas or something like that, that that's on. Um, so I don't have that in the collection yet, so I wanted to pick that up. I got those all thrown in there. So that big stack of games, I think they're, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 games for 25 bucks. So it's not too bad. That was pretty much it on Friday. Saturday... I walked up to this garage sale, I believe it was the first or second garage sale that I went to, and the person had a lot of really nice stuff, and it was probably about 8 o'clock, uh, right after 8, and there was this stack of Wii stuff sitting there, and she had $25 on it. Um, so I grabbed it right away, um, looked around at some other stuff, asked her if she would take 20 for it, and she said, sure. And so let's get into that. We got a little bag of peripherals here. We got um, two of the Mario Kart steering wheels and then um, a little charging dock for the controllers. And I think that I have those batteries. And I don't know whether the batteries are bad or the charging dock that I had before was bad. But either way, it's nice. And then we had a little stack of games. Wii Sports Resort. And a full size manual for that. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga for the Wii. All of these are complete with the manual. This is in really nice shape. And I'll show you the Wii itself. 
Um, Lego Indiana Jones. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Lego Lord of the Rings. Big Lego fans. Lego Harry Potter. Uh, years 1 through 4. Wii Fit Plus. Super Mario Brothers Wii. And then Star Wars uh, Force Unleashed. All those games. Wii Sports. Here's the sticker. We 25 for whole set. Again, we paid 20 for it. Um, then the Wii have the different instruction manuals. The Wii is in the box. So it's the uh, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Um, Inside here, the whole system and everything is very nice, very well kept. It has all the, the bags and the um, like cellophane pieces, all that kind of stuff is still inside of it. And uh, the controllers are in there, the system, everything, really nice shape. And the Wii Motion Plus, the two little attachments are in there. Um, two of the controller covers, the little stand, like everything is in there and in really nice shape. Um, and the box is in pretty good shape as well. So I was very glad to pick that up. Um, also, Wii Fit board. And it has the little leg extension thingies on all of it. This is probably a really nice one that actually works and everything. I usually, I mean, I stopped picking them up a while back, but, um, I feel like there's a market for that now. A lot of people picking up all this stuff. Maybe I'll use it myself. All right. Let's get into... Well, I'll show this one last one. This is um, dumpster diving pickup. <laughs> That's the only thing I found in there. 360 of... Um, what is this for? Bungie... Not sure exactly, I'm sure somebody knows, but just by looking at that. Um, that was a dumpster dive find. I haven't found much in dumpsters and stuff like that lately. Haven't really looked that much. But. Let's go to this last sale. And this one has some good, has some bad. So I go up to the sale. Uh, this guy has a bunch of movies sitting out on the table. And it says $3 a piece on them. I'm looking through them. There's pretty good movies in there. Um, then he had two computer games sitting out. PC games. Um, like Civilization 4, I think, was one of them. And then some other old um, computer game. I can't remember what it was. But I'm looking at him and I asked if he had any other video games. He looks around and he's like, no, I don't have anything um, out or whatever. So then he got talking to me for a little bit. And says, he's like, well, I do have some other games inside. Some PS2, Xbox 360, stuff like that. Um, if you're interested in that. So I said, yeah, sure, like, bring them out. So he comes out with a stack of games. And um, they're pretty, I got some pretty good stuff. Let me show the movies first. Got Silent Hill. And I don't know if the movie's worth anything. I know that the games and everything are. And that comes into play here in a second. Um, then I got the Superman 5 film collections, it's the Christopher Reeves, uh, Superman movies. All in one DVD set, so I got that. And we didn't pay $3 a piece, so I got this whole stack for 20 And let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 for 20 so just under $2 a piece. Um, but some of these are, are pretty good. And since he went in and I wanted to have a relationship with him, I'll tell you, um... I grabbed this stack. He came out with this stack and then a binder. So for the stack of games, I guess they were more his or whatever. He said $3 a piece. I looked through them all or whatever. And again, I got them all for $20. And the binder had a lot of really good stuff in there. So I'm going through there and he said, these are my daughter's games. Um, 
And so I'm looking through the whole thing. I'm asking how much he wants for the whole binder. And he says, oh, I don't know if I could sell the whole thing. And they're my daughters. I'd hate to sell them without asking her. So I'm going through. There was like six Resident Evil games. Um, There's a lot of filler type games too. A lot of like um, Spyros and uh, Ty, Ty, which we picked up in that other one. Um, some different platformers and things like that. But there was four Silent Hill games. Four different ones. And I don't know if there's only four. I'm not sure exactly what they were. Looked some of them up. I already knew that they were expensive. One of them is like 190 bucks right now. Um, but he had four of them. And so I'm looking through them. I'm just like, oh, you don't want to sell like any of these out of here? He's like, well, I really want to talk to my daughter first. Um, let me get your number. And I'll talk to her when she comes back from work tonight. And we'll try to figure out a deal. And I'll call you back. And maybe you can come back tomorrow or something. So I say, okay, um, give him my number, and I wanted just to ask, would you just sell like these? But he was very persistent, saying that these were his daughters, he didn't want to sell them without asking her, they were a big part of her childhood. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm looking at all this stuff, this kid is probably some sort of collector or player, because these aren't just like a bunch of simple games, um, a lot of them are kind of uh, weird type games that real gamers would, would be playing. So I'm like, I don't want to snake these games from this girl if she's like really into them and she doesn't know that her dad's grabbing them for me and all this stuff. I don't want to be that guy. I'm going to leave my number, be a good guy, and just hope that he calls me back. But let me go through these real quick and we'll get into that story. Modern Warfare 2 for the PS3. Walking Dead Survival Instinct for PS3. Um, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition for the PS4. Um, and then these are all some really nice PS2 games. So we got Champions Return to Arms, Virtual Fighter 4, Leisure Suit Larry. I knew that one would be. Worth the $20 at least. Uh, Resident Evil Dead Aim. Blade 2. Rampage Total Destruction. And then Time Crisis 3. So I grabbed all those. 20 bucks. Um, good deal. He says he's going to call me back. Later, uh, it was the very next day, Sunday, I get a call, and it's the daughter, and she says that her dad had told her that I, wanted, I was interested in these games, uh, so I can come by now and go through the ones that they went through and see if I want any of them. So I go back to the sale, and the binders are sitting on the table, and that was the first sign that something was up. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I hate when you like make a deal with somebody or... or talk to somebody about it and they leave them there on the table for anybody else to look through or to find or whatever um so i go up pretty fast and um both start going through the binder all the resident evil games are gone all the silent hill games are gone all the little weird obscure stuff for the most part is not there um there's a couple left so um i picked a couple out literally two and then there's a new stack of uh, 360 games sitting out. So, looked through them, picked a couple out, and uh, asked what, I asked what she wanted for the whole binder. She said she didn't know, so I said, would you take 100 for the whole binder? And we ended up counting them up, and there was like 60-something PlayStation 2 games, and I think 16 Xbox 360 games. So, like 80 or 90 games. Uh, total, I offered 100 for all of them. And none of them had the cases. They were all just the, the just. So she says, I have to go ask my dad. She goes in. She come, he comes back out. And he's like, 100? I don't know. I was kind of thinking more like 300. So I'm like, oh, I couldn't do 300. He's like, well, I would do 150 for all of them. So I'm kind of looking through them. And I'm like, it's probably worth it. But a lot of them are kind of just filler games. And ones that I don't want and that aren't really worth that much. I don't want to have a bunch of disc games running around. 
uh, for my own collection because I don't find that many empty cases. Anyway, at the end of it, I said, if you... Oh, I did say at the very beginning, I said, you're, so you're keeping all the Silent Hill games. And she says, yes. So I'm like, well, that's a bummer because those are the main ones that I wanted from the beginning were just the Silent Hill games. Um, I didn't say that to her, but anyway... So I'm looking through, I'm like 150, I'm like, well, if you throw in those four Silent Hill games, I'll give you 200 right now. And she says, oh, Silent Hill, and then he says, oh man, I think that I already sold those. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> He's like, that guy that was behind you yesterday? Um, the one with the kid? Uh, I think those are the ones that he got. And I'm like... I don't know, there was nobody behind me when I left, but maybe like the person who came up um, as I was leaving or something like that, I don't know. But um, he ended up selling those games to the guy, a guy the day before. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, I purposely didn't grab any of these out because I was trying to respect your daughter's, you know, wishes or whatever for her to be able to go through them. And I didn't want to be a scummy guy and take like something that she was like really into or whatever. So I left them, and I thought that he took them back into the house or whatever, but he ended up selling all of the good ones the day before, right after I left. So, that was a bummer. I ended up getting these five, though, and paid like 10 bucks or whatever for just these ones. They wanted $3 a piece. Also, but we got Castlevania, um, Lament of Innocence, Disc only, but it's really clean. And then we got Ghost Hunter. I didn't know too much about. I looked it up, and it's um, it's a decently priced game. It looks some kind of horror or something like that. Um, Dark Void. Nothing too crazy. Blood Drive. A few of these I just picked up because I, I knew I didn't have them in the collection and they just kind of looked fun. This one looks almost um, like, I don't, I don't know, like you drive around and there's zombies and stuff too. I'm not sure. It looked interesting, so I picked it up. And then a uh, big box. I don't know if it's considered a big box, but The Witcher 2. And it comes with the sleeve. And the Enhanced Edition Quest Handbook. And then inside has like the map and the three discs. Um, the soundtracks in there and then the two game discs. So that was nice to pick up. But I was super bummed out about the Silent Hill games and trying to be a nice guy and uh, bit me in the butt but that's all right um, it was still a good week still still got a lot of good stuff and um, super thankful and grateful for that appreciate you if you made it to the end of this video I know it was kind of long-winded a lot of dumb stories and whatnot but uh, if you made it this far uh, subscribe if you haven't already have some more pickup videos ready uh to put out in the next couple days here uh like the video if you enjoyed it if you want to see more videos like that i appreciate you guys and i'll catch you on the next video